Avatar Aang was the youngest ever airbender to receive the rank of master during his time and for it he was rewarded with the distinctive and iconic airbending arrow tattoos. But these tattoos have not always looked like they did on Aang. Instead, they used to be a much more simple yet still meaningful symbol. So what happened? Why did the tattoos of mastery change and what did they originally represent? Hit that subscribe button and let's find out. The airbending arrow tattoos that we see used by Aang, Tenzin and Jinora actually came into the Air Nomad tradition as a way to honor their Sky Bison companions. As we know from the comics and books, Air Nomads were very closely connected with their animal companions and they became just as much an important part of the Air Nation as its people were, taking the arrow tattoos as a sign of respect to the original airbending masters, the Bison. Well, that is of course, discounting all the stuff from beginnings part 1 and 2 in Korra, but you get what I mean. However, this wasn't always the case and there was an incredibly interesting reason why. In the beginnings episodes of Legend of Korra, we see the very early Air Nomads and they don't have the same tattoos. Instead, they have a simpler design likely meant to emulate the shape of a human. Now, here's where things get interesting. At this early time in the history of the airbenders, other humans would have been the only other benders that anybody knew. The Sky Bison likely not yet discovered and thus not known about. Therefore, once the airbenders discovered the Sky Bison and realized that they had already mastered airbending before them, they changed their tattoos to match the Bison and show them the respect that they deserved for their mastery. This would then explain the transition from the earlier, more simple design to the intricately designed arrow by the time of Avatar Aang. And the reason I say intricately is because it's confirmed that the canon version of the airbending arrow is actually closer to the one seen in Netflix's live action Avatar. And yes, the Shyamalan movie, but we don't talk about that one here. But in the animated show, it was shown as a thick blue arrow just for budget and time reasons. Obviously, they didn't want to have to draw that every frame. So that is why the airbending mastery arrows changed. Thanks so much for watching guys, leave a like and subscribe if you want more Avatar content just like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed.